Hello and welcome to the Mac School Episode 2. Uh, today we're going to look at the dock. We are going to check out all the different options that you have, the ways that you can display the dock, um, and also check out ways that you can put new shortcuts in for applications that you use most often. Uh, get rid of some of the ones that maybe Mac OS X puts in by default that you're not going to use. We're going to show you how to make some stacks, how to put folders into the dock so that you can easily access files that you use commonly, and uh, whatever else comes up. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that you're going to notice down here when you look at the dock is that on one side you've got all applications, and there's kind of a little runway here with a divider, and then to the right side of that is folders. Again, like we looked at in the first video, these are what they call stacks, and the stacks are basically just a nice way to display your files. Um, and if you have a lot of files in there, make some files here. So now we've made these documents just some uh, some blank text documents and I just named them 1, 2, 3, and 4. But as you can see now it raises higher so that you can still display all the documents that are in the folder and any one of those can be opened just by clicking. Um, so now some different ways that you can actually display these folders. If you right click on any one of these little these folders down here it'll, it'll give you this menu. Okay, what, what it's on right now is automatic and so it's figuring out the best way to display these documents would be in this little fan. Um, but we can actually tell it to list the documents if you want. They'll show up like this and you can just get to the documents by clicking them. Uh, it's pretty similar to the fan only it doesn't look as nice. Uh, you can do also the grid. And the grid you've seen before when we did the applications in the last video. And again that's how this pop up now. And it'll give you a quick little preview of each of the documents as well as so you can tell this this document actually looks as though it will if you open it. What we'll show you next is actually creating a folder down here. If there's a folder in your computer on your computer someplace that you want to access more frequently but isn't shown down here, you can actually take those folders and just drag them into the dock and it will make space and you can pop them in place. So now you can see that that's actually available for us to look at. If you don't want that, that file in there anymore, or say you don't want documents or downloads on, on the dock anymore, you just take, click, and drag up, and you'll see a little puff of smoke there. Let go, and it poofs away. Now, something to be aware of is that you're, you're not deleting the folder, you're not getting rid of the folder, you're just deleting the shortcut for the folder. So you don't have to worry about losing documents, just a nice way to get rid of some stuff. So the next area that we're going to look at is this little runway area. And if you notice, the cursor turns into kind of a little arrow with a line in the middle. And what you can do there is if you click and hold and drag up and down, you can actually increase or decrease the size of the dock. And that was about there, I suppose. So that's just a, another way to get to one of the preferences that we'll show you next here, which is if you right click in this area or control click, it turns on a little, or it opens up a little menu. Now this menu gives you some, some quick options. Um, you can turn hiding on, and if we click, click that, you'll notice that the dock disappears. And what it's gonna do is if you bring your cursor down, bring the dock back up so that you can use it. When you're done opening the program that you want, lift the cursor back up and it'll hide again. Um, this is really nice if you want to get more real estate on the desktop to open up programs and maximize them. I'm going to right click and we're going to turn the hiding off so that you can still see it. Uh, right click again and turn magnification on. Now these options actually, this option in particular has some, uh, some other settings that we'll look at in a minute, but if you click on magnification, what you're going to notice is if we roll over the top of the, these icons down here, they actually increase in size and kind of give a little nice animation. So we're going to turn that off. Right, right clicking again or control clicking, you bring up an option that says position on screen. Right now it's set to the bottom, which is default for Mac OS X. But you can actually set it to the left. And it, as you notice, it changes the way the dock looks. It's more of a, it's a 2D dock rather than 3D kind of fading off into the distance dock that you're used to on the, when it's on the bottom. And if we right click again and go to the right, it goes to the right. 
Now these are minimized using, and then it's Gini effect and scale effect. Um, basically when you minimize a screen, there's a, an animation that allows for that, that screen to minimize. So we'll open up uh, Safari here. And right now, if you noticed, when, it's, it, when minimizing, it will use what they call a Gini effect. And you'll notice it kind of gets sucked down. Now if we were to turn on the scale effect, which you'll notice is it just kind of shrinks and diminishes away. So there's not that, that genie effect into the bottle. And then down here you see Doc Preferences. Now if you open this up, it actually opens up a, a, a System Preferences window. And what you have now is just some options that go along with the, um, the effects that you can turn on. So if you notice it says size small, that's going to be your dock size. So you can either click and hold on the little runway and stretch up and down and it'll actually change the size or you can come into, into your uh, slider here and change it that way. Um, magnification, if you turn that on again, that's, uh, that's so that the icons will, will get larger as you sweep across them. And we'll turn that off. Again, the position on the screen The different um, minimize effects. And then if you have Snow Leopard, there's an option here that, you, uh, that you're that you going to have that users of regular Leopard do not, which is minimize windows into application icon. Now right now when you open up a window or a program and you minimize, it's going to come over here to, to the uh, right of your folders in your dock or your stacks. If we were to turn If we were to turn this option on, minimize windows into application icon, when I minimize this window now, you're going to notice that instead of actually come on, coming over here, it's going to minimize into the Safari icon over here. And if we open up window, if we click on it again, it opens up that window. So depending on where we are, so if we can go to dig.com and minimize, Click on it again, it's going to open up dig.com. Now another nice thing about this is as well, if you have quite a few different windows open for one of your programs and you have them all minimized, what you can do now if you have Snow Leopard again is if you click and hold, it's going to bring up Exposé. Exposé gives you a quick little um, preview of each one of the windows that you have open. So then you can just click on one of them and bring that one into focus. Okay. And what's nice about this is if, if we didn't have that option turned on and we had that many windows open, it would really start to get clogged up in our dock if we had them all minimized. So it's really a nice addition by uh, Apple to include that. If you notice our dock is getting progressively larger here because we've got all these windows open. Now add a couple more different programs and open up a few more windows and you've got quite a quite a dock clutter going on. So it's a really nice addition by Apple to include that to, to minimize into the uh, into the icon itself. Um, animate open applications. So when you actually open a, an application you'll notice it kind of gives you a little bounce here before it opens. You turn that off and you open the program it's not going to bounce anymore it's just going to open and this is the automatic hide and show the dock and we've seen that as well so you come back to the bottom and so this is just an easier way to get to all of the uh, the dock preferences and there's a couple different ways that you can get to those dock preferences again you can right click and click on dock preferences you can open up your system preferences and go to the dock or you can click up here and get to them as well right here. So there's multiple ways to get to the dock preferences. And that's about going to wrap it up for this episode. Be sure to watch episode 3 where we're going to look at ways to personalize your desktop, change your wallpaper, um, show you some websites where you can get some new wallpaper, and also some, uh, some ways to make your windows look a little different as well. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.